Vicki Bell here with another Tuesday tip. Today's tip is on limited English proficiency, the LEP plan. Each property should have an LEP plan. It is covered under Title VI of the Fair Housing Act. I'm sure that many of you have heard of being or keeping up with the disaster in Puerto Rico and the fleeing of its residents. Hurricane Maria is ranked among the worst cycles of economic decline and depopulation in post-war American history. Many of us were in affordable housing when Hurricane Katrina came through Louisiana. We remember how residents had to flee and how they ended up all over the country. According to the Puerto Rican governor, millions could leave for the U.S mainland at any time. Most of the residents of Puerto Rico do not speak English. Are you prepared for them to come to you as an applicant? We want to encourage everyone to have their limited English proficiency program and their language assistance plan together and ready for HUD or your contract administrators. Federally assisted recipients are required to make reasonable efforts to provide language assistance to ensure meaningful access for LEP persons to their property, to their program, and to their activities. To do this, the recipient should first conduct the four factors of an analysis, secondly develop a language access plan, which is the LAP plan, thirdly provide appropriate language assistance. Next week, we'll discuss the components of the LAP plan. Until then, make sure that you're on the right track with your plan. Make sure that you have it available for HUD or your contract administrator or whomever comes through to review it. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you next week.